Matt, no time to rest in football, is there? Straight after Tuesday night, another game Saturday and a difficult one uh, against MK Dons. Yeah, um, you know, off the back of uh, you know, a bad result and a, a bit of a poor performance, we'll be looking to put things right come Saturday. Um, MK Nons have started pretty well. Obviously, a bit of a disappointing result for them in the week, but um, look, it's a new season. We did, you know, still a lot is um, a lot is unsure in terms of what you know what we're going to face, and um, you know we're still sort of bedding into the season. So, um, but yeah, we're we're under no illusion that it's going to be a difficult test. Yeah, and a chance for the for the players to show a reaction to, to that defeat on on Tuesday night in front of the home fans. Yeah, of course. I think you know we're all disappointed and a bit sorry for um, the performance and you know we were well backed um, on Tuesday night and the fans came out and supported us um, which was really really nice but um, look, we we know that we need to perform better than we did um, you know it's not for the one to try and we're all we're all trying to pull our way and we had a, a team meeting this morning just to sort of get a few things out in the open and you know it's not um, it's not all doom and gloom such a long season of course but um, you know we need to try and get that first win um, you know this season and you know hopefully uh, things will start improving from there so but we're looking forward to the game you know we're, we're coming to training today full of energy and full of spirit so like I said a couple of bad results but it's not all doom and gloom it's a very very long season and that's exactly how it's got to be has it you've got to kind of acknowledge the mistakes you make put them right but keep that spirit and and motivation amongst the squad high yeah of course and it's been a really good pre-season and you know actually uh, away at Bradford, we, we played well at parts, but it, it was just disappointing on Tuesday night, um, and it just looks it doesn't look that great because we've not got any points on the board, and obviously we had the game called off at the start of the season, which doesn't help either. So um, yeah, but look, we know, we know that we need to put things right, and hopefully come Saturday we'll be in a you know better position, and it might be a good thing I suppose just to sort of take stock and 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 check on what we've got and what we need to do to, to improve and that's certainly something that we've come in today fresh and, and ready to go and looking to put that bad performance behind us into Saturday. Yeah, and on a personal note, probably a bit frustrated that you haven't got as many minutes mm -hmm. as you'd like to in the first few games, but everyone in the squad seems to be chomping at the bit to, to make sure to, that you're still in the manager's eye and uh, yeah. ready for selection when you yeah, are. Yeah, of course, it's been disappointing for, for myself and I felt like I uh, put, you know, gave myself the best chance off the back of pre-season, I felt fit and ready to go. Obviously, the manager has decided to go a slightly different route to, to me at the moment, but he knows that I'm ready and I know that he knows that I'm ready. So um, hopefully that comes very soon and I can I can help the team because that's really what I want to do. And it's a collective. We've got a young squad. Obviously, I seem to be one of the more senior boys, which is a bit unusual, but we've got a young squad and we're, we're all looking to, to learn and add things. And hopefully, even if I'm not playing, I'm, I, I'm helping the lads out and I'm, I'm trying to bring my, my knowledge and um, sort of sh showcase some of the things that I can do in training and hopefully bring that into games. Yeah. Is that something that you're relishing, that being one of the older mm. group if you like yeah there's obviously it's probably five or six of us i suppose whereas over the years i think the game's changed a lot now over the years you'd, you'd sort of be a, a young a young guy at 27 28 um but the, the game has changed but it's something that i enjoy doing i try and help the, the younger players out and there's a lot of good young players in our squad and um you know it's not easy for them it's not easy for any of us to lose to lose the games that we have but it's not easy for them so i just need to kind of say and you're not just myself, um, the experienced players need to say it's not all doom and gloom and we just need to try and pass on our knowledge and pass on our experience to help to help the younger players out.